Now, the family of an Instagram model who was killed in an apparent murder-suicide is now speaking out. We first told you about the death of Miss Mercedes Moore yesterday. Authorities say her body was found in her apartment in Fort Bend County, along with the body of a man who killed her on Sunday. And now, her family has come forward to share their heartbreak as they search for answers following this disturbing discovery. KPRC 2's Jacob Rascone live in Richmond tonight with the new details. Jacob? The family says they hadn't heard from her for a couple days, so they showed up here to the apartment complex. When no one answered when the dad knocked, he kicked the door in and said he found his daughter there on the floor, already deceased, and her killer upstairs with a knife in him still alive. Welcome to the No One Cares channel. It's your boy, Troy. I appreciate y'all tuning in. Comment, like, subscribe to the No One Cares channel. We talk about different things. We focus on self-improvement, becoming the best versions of ourselves, and just getting it out the mud. You know what I'm saying? We talk about getting it out the mud, putting in that work. You know, I mean, I'm doing this video. I done worked two jobs for the day and hit the gym for an hour. Now I'm doing the video, man. And I'm also a father, so... You know, that hustle, you got to keep that hustle going, man. You got to stay committed. So we just talk about things like that on the channel and, you know, a little bit of power dynamics and, you know, current events and, you know, you know, all type of things we talk about on this channel. On today's topic, I want to talk about an Instagram model named Mercedes Moore. She was found dead in her apartment. Her family wanted to do a welfare check because they hadn't heard from her in a few days. And so her dad showed up to her apartment and kicked in the door and found her dead. And he walked upstairs and found the killer dead so it was a murder suicide the killer strangled her and he killed himself stabbing himself to death and the father uh you know he got there before the police so the police arrived and you know the rest from there is history there's a couple of things i want to talk about in this situation number one the instagram model in today's world we have a lot of women that want the social media fame but they don't understand what comes along with that with the consistent selfie taking that our modern women do they they don't know who's looking they don't know what type of man are looking at those photos when you start to get on instagram and build up your following you don't know what type of man are looking at your pictures all right now, this man was said to be her sugar daddy. And we're going to um, look into a couple of articles on this situation. But this man is said to be her sugar daddy. Men, women really have to be careful about what type of man they're dealing with. Because a lot of these men are emotionally led. And they, they really haven't been taught about female nature they feel like they can control women just because they have a little money and women have to be very careful about that so i'm going to talk about why it's important for a man to understand female nature so they won't wind up in a situation like this to where they kill somebody and kill themselves the where they go emotionally crazy because they're not in touch with logical thinking and they're not in touch with female nature and we're also going to talk about the uh situation with her you know being on instagram and taking a lot of selfies and the dangers that that can cause now mercedes moore is one of the older instagram models she's what hitting 32 um, and she was having a lot of work done in the Dominican Republic. Now, the Dominican Republic 
it's a little bit cheaper for them to get their you know plastic surgery done it was said that she was getting sick here and there and she might have caught a virus here and there and as you know with the coronavirus and stuff like that having work done in the Dominican Republic is a high risk so it was said that she was getting sick and stuff like that in the and all of her latest posts were old pictures so we don't have that information for sure but she was definitely going out of town getting work done trying to keep up with the younger women and women well what we got to understand is with women a female with the female age 32 is old women's prime is younger once they start hitting 27 they start aging out and once they hit those early 30s they really start hitting the wall and she was starting to realize that you know hey i got to start keeping up with these younger um instagram models i'm aging out now she had became pretty successful you know having 2.6 million followers and she's gained a name for herself right but what women should understand is there is a big risk to being an instagram model you really don't know who's looking at you you really don't know who's following you who what they're thinking what these men are what's on these men's mind with the high amount of beta males, with the high amount of emotional men, these men, they don't understand female nature. So what they do is all that they know. All that these men know is what they've been brought up on, which is the Disney movies, which is television shows. Um, they Most men really wasn't taught by their parents uh, by their fathers about life you know their mom's not going to teach them about female nature and life really she's that mo mothers just don't do that because they're women so most of these men that are looking at you uh instagram models and looking at your facebooks most of them are beta males they're emotionally led and since they be watching these movies and stuff, they feel like if they get enough money, they can control you. And this guy that we're going, you know, read a couple articles in a minute. Kevin Accordo was said to be her sugar daddy. They were they were not dating. He was a sugar daddy and he was, you know, dispersing money to her. And so he felt like he can control her. And the thing about it is probably this one night that she didn't want to have sex with him. He lost his cool. He might have been high on drugs or whatever. And he strangled her and killed her. And then he killed himself. This dude totally went off the wall. And what men really have to understand about women. And, and when, I, when I talk about women... This doesn't mean that, you know, this is something that you have to get mad about or this is something that you, you know, should hold it, you know, all hold it against them. It's their nature. You as a man, just work around it. Females are going to be females at the end of the day. All right. Um, but when you deal with women, one day they might like you and one day they won't. They're real fidgety. They change up according to how they're feeling. That's one reason why when you're dating a woman, you don't need to be around her all the time because now you got to deal with all those different personalities and you can't make a woman like you. You can't make a woman do what you say just because you pay for her, pay her bills and pay for the things that she likes. You still can't control a woman. They're going to do what they want to do. And when you have these emotional beta males, when, when, when they get their emotions all caught up in a woman, they start to feel like they own her. And when she doesn't do something that they want 
her to do, they go crazy. And so a lot of women out here, since most men are beta males, a lot of you women are going to be dealing with emotionally led men because there's no one here to teach them. When I get on here and I talk about female nature, it's not only for men's benefit, it's for women's benefit. You women, a lot of you can't control your emotions. A lot of you women, you're going to do what you do. You can't control yourself. You, you don't have that calibration of, you know, toning down your emotions at this time and picking up your focus at this time. That's why women need men. Y'all may not need a man financially all the time, but women need man it for emotional support for protection etc y'all can't do the things men do so the thing about it is uh yeah you know when you're dealing with a woman when these men are dealing with women you can't control women. Women are going to be up and down. And since most of you women are going to be dealing with beta males, you have to understand that these beta males are going to get deeply emotionally attached. Even if you're just an Instagram model, these guys will start to get attached to you because they're looking at your pictures every day. They're looking at you on your OnlyFans, on your OnlyFans. They're looking at you and looking at you and dreaming about you. Because these men, right, these, these beta males, that's what they live through. They're really socially awkward. So they don't want to put in the work to, you know, develop themselves socially. They just rather, if they have money, throw money and feel like that should do the trick. So by the time they come and see you or see you in person, they go buck wild and they feel like they can own you just because they have cash. And so you women really need to be careful. And like I say, being an Instagram model or a social media model is dangerous. It's not all it's cracked up to be. Uh, most of your regular Men are going to treat you like a piece of meat. They don't re they're not going to really have respect for you because I mean you're just selling your body. You're not doing anything that really requires focus and practice and stuff like that. A lot of you women are just shaking your booties in front of the camera taking tons of selfies. Man, that doesn't take any talent or or any work at all. So men are not going to uh, respect that they're not going to respect that because men know all the work that it takes to build us up so um, let's read this model let's read this um, article from the New York Post it says an Instagram model who counted Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion among her millions of followers was killed in an apparent murder-suicide in Texas. Her real name is Janae Gagnier. She was 30, 33, better known as Miss Mercedes to her Instagram fans. 2.6 million followers was found strangled in her Richmond apartment Sunday by cops. A man suspected of killing Gagnier, Kevin Alexander Accordo, age 34 of Florida, was also found dead inside the apartment from multiple sharp force trauma. At this point in the investigation, it's not believed that there was a relationship between the suspect and the victim. Richmond Police Spokesman Lieutenant Lowell said in a statement, they found no sign of forced entry to her apartment. Neighbors was really shocked. I mean, this was a gated community. And they didn't see anything. So this had to be a guy that, you know, was her sugar daddy. This was a gated community. You know, no one noticed anything out of the ordinary. There was no forced entry. So when you women, you know, accept 
you know, money from these crazy ass beta males, you got to be careful. You got to be careful because there's no one teaching these men. I'm trying to teach them. There's no there's no one out here teaching these men about, you know, controlling themselves, having emotional discipline, stuff like that. So most of these men are going to be crazy. Now, her father found her body with the police and they had writing. It was writings all on the wall that this guy, he wrote all type of stuff on the wall about her. That's how psychotic this man was. That's how crazy he was. All right. So, man, women, be careful with this social media thing. Uh, you never know who's watching you. You never know who's following you. And for the man, you cannot lose your emotional discipline. You can't be led with your emotions like a woman you have to be led with your logic you can't get emotionally attached to women emotionally caught up with women because when you do you lose they might like you today and hate you tomorrow that's just how they are they've real fidgety and you can't control a woman no matter how many times you tell her you her you love her you're there for her no matter how much money you give her you cannot control a woman I always remember that guys stay focused on your grind um stay focused on your purpose fellas I know you're gonna deal with women here and there don't get emotionally attached leave that shit alone man I appreciate y'all tuning in. Comment, like, subscribe to the No One Cares channel, man. Until you change your mindset, no one cares. But just no one cares. And he wants you to become the best version of yourself. I'm out.